Hello my fellow cheese lovers, I have a few setups that I haven't shown you yet, because my normal videos just take way too much time to produce, so I thought about why not show them to you this way. So this is a kind of setup obviously inspired by Too Legit City, that is a Niobium Tamer. I have two different versions, um, this version here and this version, which are literally the same except for the automation, which is a tiny bit different in the area that this year uses a memory toggle and this year does not. One tries to empty out the Niobium first and the other one tries to um, keep a certain temperature. We start here at the right with the liquid molten Niobium holding chamber. You can increase the size of this if you want to. The Niobium volcano will erupt, drop a lot of liquid at once and it will just drop down into this chamber. The pitcher pump will not melt because it has no contact to the Niobium, even though it is placed like this. As soon as those two tiles are hit, the pitcher pump would melt, so you need to extract the metal before that. Liquid metal can be picked up by auto sweepers and placed in bottle enviers. This is just for liquid metals, nothing else, but super handy to know. Thanks to Legit City for letting me know that. The auto sweeper is of course cooled with this blob of liquid. This liquid is connected to the steam turbine, which of course as well is cooled by this aqua tuner down here, with a simple liquid loop that you can see here. The liquid metal then is dropped from this bottle emptier into the mesh tiles. Here we do have another nice exploit as well, you can see it right now. If the liquid is dropped into mesh tiles and you surround it with more tiles, you can more or less decide where the Niobium debris lands. Here we do have the debris of the Niobium, which accumulates and gets picked up by the auto sweeper and then placed in the conveyor loader. The auto sweeper, by the way, only activates if we have certain criteria, which is this output being green and the temperature here being below 180 degrees Celsius. So this always tries to stay at 180 plus the heat that we get from the debris. The conveyor loader is now filled but still blocked because we have a lot of niobium circling around here already. Once the niobium is cold enough, as checked with this conveyor rail thermal sensor, it will be sent away. Where does it get sent away? Well, through the wall here and then into the metal tiles. The metal tiles have no thermal contact to the steam turbine which is intentionally. We want to keep the steam turbine cool and um, on a second cooling grid then the metal tiles. Still the same cooling source though, but it's the second grid. Everything here is just connected with a big power grid and technically self-powered all the time because you have so much stored heat energy and other energy in there that normally the idle period can without a problem be bridged and even if it's dormant for a long time it started again all of them they kept running for like forever uh, give me this your auto sweeper has to be on a second grid like this here you can see the auto sweeper is there so you can activate the whole system so keep this on a second grid once the metal is fed through your cooling area it will be dropped in this spot into I chose petroleum but you can probably choose whatever you like but petroleum can go into the negative degrees celsius so you may be able to cool down your niobium more than you would be with regular water. This is thermally connected to the auto sweeper just to keep it cool, pretty handy. So let me quickly switch through the different overlays. This is the power overlay, here we have the temperature overlay. Temperature overlay is also important because if the bottle emptier for some reason drops the niobium it will drop here, here or here, which um, is no problem for anything and nothing will happen or melt. This is the material overlay, I used the good insulation here on the right but you can use any material that you want. And to the left is mostly gold, to be honest, this is gold. Gold as well, everything is gold and inside here of course steel. By the way I had a system like this with the just one steam turbine which also worked but it was hard on the edge of breaking all the time so I just went the safe route and put in two steam turbines and it has been working for, let's check this, um, just 40 cycles here but I had this running for hundreds and hundreds of cycles in the background with other contraptions that I've tested. Here I am in my radiation testing world as you can see in the top left. <laughs> um, 
and this has been running in the background for a long time I think let's check this property yeah almost 400 cycles and nothing has happened nothing bad has happened to this these have been running perfectly fine and accumulated a lot of Niobium if I haven't deleted it yet yeah there's a lot of Niobium here can I even just six tons so this is almost 400 cycles worth of Niobium <laughs> And each of these packages is 25 tons, with the exception of the first 6 tons that we extracted. You can do a lot with this Niobium here. Count it for yourself. And now quickly switch to this one. Check the different automation on this one. Which is just... Um, the auto sweeper is controlled just by the temperature here. If below 180, if below 180, just get a new batch of the niobium, put it in the bottle and drop it, and it will accumulate down here. Then the auto sweeper will also check the temperature, and if the temperature is not hot enough anymore, grab more of the niobium, put it in the conveyor loader, circle it around, and then drop it off here. They are almost done at the same time, maybe a few cycles different. One works through this stuff continuously and the other one works through it in a batch. Not sure which one was which to be honest, it has been a long time that this is lying around. But that's pretty much it, so this is my Niobium Tamer setup for, well, the exploity people. Let me switch through the overlays one more last time here. And the settings for these are 185 for the temperature sensor. For this temperature sensor down here it is 180. Since this one to the right has more temperature sensors it is 185, 180 and 170. Other than that I don't think that we have any settings. Conveyor loader is just set to Niobium. Same goes for the bottle emptier which is set to enable auto bottling of course and Niobium. Of course I will make a proper video on this, well, someday, but as you know, I'm kind of slow with this kind of things and I wanted to show it to you. Love you guys, leave a like, see you next time.